fam. Hey. How you doing? Uh, I know I'm in every, in every one of these videos. I know. Just, 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 just accept it. <laughs> just accept it. Anyway. We are here about 20,000 years in the future. Society's collapsed in on itself. And we're still sitting in Nick's house. Trump became president in we 2016 and then... It just fast. It just like it, he invented time travel, and he just fucked it up. He fucked it up, and now we're trapped in Nick's house, twenty thousand years in the future, sending you videos and back in twenty sixteen. Yep, brilliant. All right. So as you guys know, I just recently recorded the Ocarina of Time area, and it's the video has been uploaded by now. Skyward Sword's coming soon, but Nick's going to play through his part since we decided to split it into three parts. Cause we're fucking geniuses about that. <laughs> yeah, we're fucking. We're amazing. <laughs> Because, you know, I can't always be at Nick's house. I have to go into the collapsed world of Armageddon. I have to commute from my my collapsed reality to his. Yeah, it's 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 a very long trek. Yep. Trust me. You don't you don't you haven't seen half the shit I've seen. Anyway, we are going to finally start playing now. Nick, go ahead and pick. As usual, we're going to be doing this in free mode because legend mode's trash. Yep. Uh Bow! Oh god. Yeah. We're doing bow this time. You better believe it. Believe it. So, Sound of Shapes. God damn it. <laughs> I've been talking my ear off about it the entire time. Yeah, talking your ear off. As in, I wanted to talk about it on the video. And that's all I said about it. <laughs> Sound of Shapes is was is essentially a good music game, but a terrible platformer, and it's a platformer for ninety percent of the game. No, it's a terrible game. It's okay as long as like, as long as you don't play like the actual stuff that it tries to challenge you with. Because what the game calls like. Challenge mode is essentially just a bunch of RNG bullshit. It sucks. Cause like n the the actual game is nothing like the RNG bullshit. I am eating a spicy chicken sandwich. And he's killing himself because he just loves the pain. I love the pain, guys. I'm, I'm such a big masochist. I fucking love how he becomes a boat. Boom! <laughs> Nick, help go save Agatha. Where's Agatha? I'm a boat, remember? I care about your stupid boat. Let's go save her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. <sighs> Uh, Lana, why are you here? Shut up, Nick. <laughs> this is the... Yes, Nick, you chose the reality that Lana's in. Congratulations. I hope you're proud of yourself. Or, or, or she, isn't she in every reality? No. She 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 traveled to Twilight Princess, Link traveled to Skyward Sword, and Zelda and, Imp and Sheik and Impa traveled to Ocarina of Time. Fuck. <laughs> I got the one reality that I hate in the one world that I actually like. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why, Lana? Why isn't everyone voice acted already? Don't ask me, Nick. <laughs> Can I skip this cutscene? What happens? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Butterflies is what happens. It's almost over anyway. Okay, so I saved her, right? Is that it? I saved her? Yeah, you saved Agatha. I'll go back to being a boat. Boat. <laughs> Maggie, I'm boat. You're boat? Nick, yeah, boat. look it. I'm boat. You have achieved a boat. Look it. Boat. Wow, you, you guys are really <laughs> sailing through this game. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nick, tap the screen, please. I, I, I hope you don't sink in the competition. Here. Oh, my goodness. Dang it, Maggie. <laughs> I'm joking. 
why why is the Zekubaba only killed through like the the, the arrow? Because it's, it's a progression thing. It's oh, it's progression. Don't why is it the one that the, why is it the one Zelda thing that they kept in that I hate? <laughs> you need an item to progress. <laughs> yeah, you need an item to progress. What's that? Amazing gameplay. Fairly not, but still. Why would they? Why was that? Why would they keep that in for this Zelda? For the Zelda Dynasty of Warriors crossing. Don't ask me. Do you know how many times I replayed this level, Nick? To get Lana's heart piece? 69. A bunch. Is, it, is 69 not a bunch? No. It's not, it does, it's not even near the amount of times I've replayed this level. Oh god. You're like an eighth of the way there. That kind of reminds me of how many times I replayed the hard mode levels in Sound Shapes. <laughs> there he goes again! <laughs> okay. Because it Just Get it out of your system now. Okay, so in Sound Shapes, it's a, it's a music based platformer. Who shaded this? <laughs> the platforming sucks because. You're, you play as a sticky ball that just like attacks itself to objects and can't touch red things. So in the hard mode levels, and like in like in normal levels, like you go slow you go and you're stuff. and you and you platform through stuff really sluggishly, so you can get so you can like get more music. The music is good and that makes you want to like do good in the platforming section, so you can get the so you can unlock all of the music in that stage. In the hard mode levels, the music just Why stops. Why are you killing anything, Nick? Because I don't know what to do. Just you were waiting for Agatha to get to the stupid door. And she, but are, she's not going. AI are stupid, Nick. Just kill more stuff, and she'll start moving. So, in the hard mode levels, there's no music until like the very end, and until like the last five seconds. But you can't get to those last five seconds because of all the RNG bullshit. That makes it impossible to I get to I love how you're just walking around in a circle and getting smacked. I'm not getting smacked. Everyone else is just not doing anything. Agatha needs you to kill stuff for her to move on. What stuff? I can't see anything. There are little green dudes there. Why isn't there a health bar? Okay, Agatha. I... <sighs> Agatha, thank you. So... So it is the is King Daphne's the puppet or is the boat the puppet? I think it's the boat. But the king is the puppet, right? What? That's why all the strings around him. And the strings not around the boat. Those aren't strings. Yeah, it's string. That's not string. And what is it then? That's wind. No, they established that Ganon and King Daphne's have puppets. Oh. Right? Isn't that isn't that why there's puppet Ganon? When they establish a King Daphne's had a puppet. Well, don't they establish that like the boat is like his puppet that he like controls, right? I guess. And that's why like he's like shows his like actual physical form inside the Hyrule Castle. Ah. He's also sealed, right? Mm-hmm. Why don't you know this? You're the one that completed the game. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't pay attention to shit. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sc screw you. Don't skip any of the cutscenes, man. <laughs> Agatha. She's moving. No, she's not. So, sound shapes. Yeah, sound shapes. R RNG bullshit. There's n they take out the one good thing. That this game has for it in the hard stages. It's terrible. So, wait. Impa's the bad guy? That's not Impa. Midna, whatever. You chose to play the Twilight Princess, and you can't even name her actual name. I'm sorry. Standing Genius. Up for a butterfly. <laughs> oh 
who is Agatha supposed to be in that in the Warriors universe? What? In the what? Like, all like all almost all of these character, all, almost all the Zelda characters have been like form fitted to like some sort of trope from the Warrior series. I think Agatha's Gracia. No, please no. Yeah. Oh god. Agatha's Gracia. Makes sense. Their their um, design is like pretty similar. Is it? Yeah. Explain. Um, they're both they both wear frilly outfits. They both have pigtails. Um, they're both really, really, really happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and they both require escorts everywhere they go. Damn. Gracia. So recently I've been playing a game I like to call Completionist Hell. Yeah? Yeah. Once you leave a dungeon, you can't go back. Eternal Sonata? Yep. <laughs> cough, cough, hint, hint, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Nudge, nudge. So wait, I have to kill Midna now? Yep. Why? Because you have to get the goddess butterfly back. But it seems she's a one. She's like she's against Sia, right? That's why she's talking about the ugly witch. Wait, isn't this universe Minna cursed by um, Sia? Yep. Why? Isn't Zant still here in this game? Yep. Why? Why does it? Why? Stop getting wrecked, Nick. I'm sorry, I just don't. I'm sorry that I chose level 10. Alright, it's all your fault. You know you have potions, right? No, I don't, because potions are have never been a thing. <laughs> Press the R. There you go. Oh, you paid for much. I almost had mushroom. You took the parts. I'm not sorry. Oh, no, you're not. Damn it, Nick. Murder bit enough faster. Uh, it's not that easy. I get... He's even less... He's even less, like, catered to than Tingle, dude. You like Tingle more- you like Tingle more than Daphne's, for some reason. Even though Daphne's is a frickin' boat! <laughs> I don't like boats. Terrible person. <laughs> I'm terrible because I don't like boats. Yes! Oh, I almost did something terrible. I'm a terrible person because I don't like boats. Are you kidding me? Boats are what kept us alive. They brought you good fortune. Well, they brought somewhat good fortune. Not necessarily you. Yes, that's as far as I'm going. Okay. So, so, do I just kill more people? Yeah, way easier to just tap the screen, right, Nick? It's, it's weird because it doesn't say. <laughs> it just tells. It just gives me like a play-by-play. -play. The screen just gives me a play-by-play. -play. I never like to tap it. Honest cheering you on, Nick. Of course she is. She's been programmed to do so. It's not of her own free will. It's not. Her, it's not because of her agency. It's because of, of me. I'm the king. I'm the boat. She just can't get the butterfly back, Nick. <sighs> Are there no like Twilight beasts? Nope. Why not? 
Solution to everything. Just re reskin to someone else. What? Reskin of a drug net. I already defeated Midna. I literally already did that. <laughs> Is she easier to kill this time? Yeah. Nope. <sighs> <sighs> I just had food. Twilight Realm is active. Whatever that means. It means men are stronger now. I see. There you go, she ran away. Uh, Capture the kitty. She still has a little Miss Butterfly. <laughs> Fine, you wanna fight? Let's do this. <sighs> Nick's dying on the inside. Why why is she fighting on the bridge? That's not her fight. It's a Why wait, what why why in Twilight Princess was like the most like memorable portion of the fight, like given to like such like an unmemorable boss? What do you mean? Like the, like the Orc King. Like, was the boss for the bridge. Yeah, so? That's like the most uninteresting boss of, out of all of the Zelda bosses. What about it? He was literally only a boss to, like, highlight the, like, um, horseback fighting. Is this just a battle? Is this a battle cutscene? This is a battle cutscene. Skipped it too late though, it already went through the entire cutscene. Yeah, well, clearly not, because I could still skip it. It was literally about to just start fading to black. I'm yeah, but that's it. Ted is actually doing well on this map. Yeah, on hard mode? Yeah. Never mind, hard mode is basically easy mode, I forgot. Well, how is so? Because the first playthrough of hard mode is actually hard. Then you get hero mode and hard mode because of a piece of cake because you're an expert at the game and have a ton of materials and you're overpowered as hell. And have all the items. Yeah, I guess with all the items, then yeah, it's a bit, it's easier. I don't know how much you've actually upgraded Daphne's. I have, he has all his combos a lot. That's, this is not a lot of combos. That's all of them, Nick. Anyway, oh, so man. in this game called Eternal Sonata, yeah, like three times where I want, where I wanted to end myself, where I was, where I was so done playing, yeah, and all three times I had to take a very long break. The first time, uh, there is an area in the game where what is it? So I didn't realize that score pieces actually got something because of my first play through Eternal Sonata. Score pieces gave me easy one token, gave me easy, ezzy, gave me ezzy items which do jack and or crap for your character. So I didn't want the Ezzy items because I was going to wait for time I played Encore mode, which is the second playthrough of the game, which gets you more stuff. So, on my first playthrough... Yeah, basically they just did like the whole Dynasty um, Warriors Roji thing, where it's like, oh, we fought, but you're not actually with the bad guy. Let's be friends. Okay. Now, you were saying... <sighs> Tune in next time for TJ's rant on the game Eternal Sonata, the game he may or not do a Let's Play on. <laughs> look at my bank statement, looking for PS3. <laughs> look at my bank statement, see purchase of PS3, purchase of Eternal Sonata <laughs> for PS3. May or may not have purchased something to help record. Anyway, guys, that'll be it. I know I cut off the Eternal Sonata rant early, but. What are you talking about? That was just enough. Just enough. Just enough, my butt. Anyway, guys, I will see. We'll see you next time, Nick. You want to go cut off the recording?
Yeah. Bye. I'm like cutting it off. Click it.